Hello everyone. This video will be about tier 15 shaped pit and the loot I got from 54 maps and also how I ran them, what I invested and how much currency I made, also the profit and everything. So let's start. So why shaped pit if you ask? Uh, last time I did spider force because of the doctor cards but you already know that the layout isn't very good, the boss is very dangerous if you are leveling. So it's a very big map, so and without any doctor drops. And with the investment I made, I didn't really like the outcome, but I only did like 100 maps, so maybe I was just unlucky. So I decided to try another tier 15 map, so this time I picked pit because uh, I want to play with my blade vortex character and push some level at the moment I am 95 level and I will try pushing it higher when I have the time uh, the map is you know a little the corridors are thin if you know what I mean and it's very good for blade vortex character and also the layout isn't very random so if you run like 20 or 30 maps, you will memorize all the layouts, so you won't get lost that much. Sometimes you do a little backtracking, but it is better than Spider Forest in my opinion. And because I am doing this on my Blade Vortex character without any Magic Find gear, I also try to spend very little investment, very little currency on the maps. So what I did for that is two sacrifice uh, fragments, no Zana mods at all. The only Zana mod I used is uh, shaping the map five tiers. It is six chaos. The reason for that is there isn't many shaped pits on the market, so it is hard to buy them. So I decided to use the Zana mod because I didn't want to use Harbinger anyways. So it makes the maps very cheap. The only downside is the maps get rolled randomly, so you can face reflect. Make sure you have a character that can handle reflect, so you won't waste the maps. I did, I did those maps on my miner, and I only got like three reflect maps in 40, uh, 54 maps, so it wasn't that much. So let's start by doing a map first, and I will explain how I do them. So the re another reason for the pit is uh, it is in a very good spot for using yellow sextants. They are two and a half chaos at the moment, even two and a f two and four. Uh, so very cheap compared to red sextants. And if you have Uber Elder unlocked, uh, as I do, you can use four sextants. So let's see if we get any good. Okay. Very good, very very good. Okay, seems good. So let's start by doing a map. So at the moment this is not tier 10, so I won't do anything. This is how I did all my maps. And let me say that the outcome is very surprising. If you consider that I am not using any magic find here at all. So here is how the map looks like. Oh, I'm gonna skip Alva for now because I don't want to make the video any longer. So it's very good for Blade Vortex character and if you are playing any kind of, you know, maybe melee character who is struggling with some open areas, this could be a really good place for you. But the breaches are sometimes very bad, like this, you won't get much mobs. But this is no big deal, because breaches got nerfed like two leagues ago, so you won't get any not many loot compared to previous leaks anyway so you are not missing that much so as you see it is very comfortable with a character like this and the reason I am not using any magic find gear it's just you know curiosity there isn't really a very big reason you know? And also the map boss is really easy, so 
I never died while doing these maps. I only died like two times in Dells because of some bad performance issues and one time to server crash. I will also make a maybe a little video about my character in the upcoming week if I have the time. There is already lots of Elementalist Blade Vortex builds out there but I tried to make this one tankier and also playing low life. Most of the Elementalist builds are life based. So it's really safe character. Good for leveling. You can even do magic find if you go a little less um, inner, inner shield I believe. And maybe you should do some, you know, lower tier maps, not tier 15s. Maybe it's not very fast map, uh, maybe like, you know, if you compare it to Belfry's or Maybe I don't remember if Orchard is tier 10. Mostly compared to Belfry. But it's not very bad either. I really enjoyed doing this and I will probably do more and test the results. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna shoot another video for it. Look at this lag. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. And as you see, the boss isn't really doing anything. It can't even hit me. Oh, oh sorry, I forgot that I have the strength. <laughs> but yeah, it's really easy boss. And you sometimes get two bosses, you know, from the map mode, so better chance for map drops but we already know everyone knows that map bosses don't drop like lots of things especially the maps so there is like two sets of champion mobs in this arena by the way so I got like at least 10 maps from only this area the champion mobs most of the time drops tier 16 maps. Because uh, I am mostly shaping tier uh, 10 maps, I also didn't, you know, lock the tier 16s. I have Elder Grotto here. So let's look at the loot now. So this is all the currency I got. I got an X which I was lucky but even if you don't count this the profit is still you know good compared to a non magic find character so this is all the currency and these are the maps so most of these are tier 16 grottos of course there are few pits at the moment because I ran the rest and also as I mentioned I am mostly shaping tier 10 maps by using the Zanam. It's only 6 chaos. Uh, pits are 2 chaos mostly and you can buy them in books. So it's not hard to buy them. So it makes 8 chaos for the map. The only bad side is you can't roll them. What you need to do is you chisel, alk and that's it. You don't even read the map because it will change. So make sure you have a character with who is capable of uh, doing elemental reflect or maybe no regeneration. Anything that your build can't do. So I will also put a screen here again. So you can check how much currency I made. So I'm gonna open it now and talk about it a little. So let's see I got 23 P 
pits and 29 elder grottoes which means 52 maps total which is higher or equal to tier 15 so this is with a very less investment so you see that I spent like 1200 chaos and made uh, 1600 back of course there's an exalted even if you don't count it I think it's not really bad because we don't have any magic find because that I don't have magic find I tried to make the investment very less so only two fragments I haven't used any scarabs I didn't try to you know abuse any new league mechanics or anything like that I even have the syndicate encounters locked at the moment so you could you can even get more loot if you are doing them this character can do them very easily actually but I just lock them to be sure because I don't I am not doing any challenges at the moment I did like most of them I'm only waiting for the Alva for the 37 so I can get one more totem so yeah that's it I think that's it um, yeah thanks for watching and if you have any questions please ask because this is a this is not a very detailed video about you know running the map and also yeah I don't have any shaper or elder influence again so this is like a basic guide for everyone you know you, I didn't even invest that much so you can do this even on a non magic find character and still get some good experience and good map returns so yeah that's it thanks for watching and see you next time